What's going on, boxing? Here's this your boy, Paul kind of boxing. Come back at you for the boxing video for the boxing hits and the boxing minds. Please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. Now, I was reading an article was saying is Errol Spence Jr. too rugged for Bud Crawford, right? And I thought about it and I said, you know, of course I'm an Errol Spence Jr. fan, but you know what I'm saying? Is Earl way too rugged for Bud Crawford? Now we know Bud is a finesse fighter, right? And we we know that he fought Jeff Horn, Amir Khan, you know what I'm saying? He fought uh, Sean Porter. He fought Brooke, he just covered Laskas. And none of those dudes like really, you know, gave him any trouble except for maybe he just covered Laskas, you know what I'm saying? Who, you know what I'm saying, for Loma loaned him. And who else? You know what I'm saying? We could say Sean Porter gave him a little bit of trouble. But the one thing about all those fighters that Terrence Crawford fought is they never really, you know what I'm saying, like beat him up physically. Oh yeah, Jose Benavidez, you know, gave him a little, his length gave him a little trouble. But they never really uh, tested Crawford physically. You know what I'm saying? EJ physicality is on another level. You know what I'm saying? We saw him bust up Kel Brook, his over the bone, break his ribs. You know what I'm saying? That that fight was a physical nightmare. And he just broke Kel Brook down. You know what I'm saying? His ribs, his over the bone, busted up, right? Then we seen him fight Sean Porter, you know what I'm saying, on the inside, just really ripping um, Sean Porter to the body to the point where he had to have hip surgery. His hips were gone after he fought EJ, just broke him down, man, you know what I'm saying? Plus, Sean Porter trained, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, his heart out for that fight, you know what I'm saying? He had six trainers, you know what I'm saying? He really prepared for uh, Errol Spence Jr., like... Because he thought that was going to be his last fight. Terrence Crawford got, you know what I'm saying, the, the Sean Porter who that was left over. Same with Kell Brook. So we saw Errol Smith Jr. break down Ugas, you know what I'm saying, with power. You know what I'm saying, just hitting him in the neck, breaking his over the bone, breaking his ribs with power, stepping to him, stepping through punches. And I think that's going to be the key. This is why I think. Earl Smith Jr. is too rugged for uh, Terrence Crawford because he can take punches. His punch resistance is is on another level. You know what I'm saying? He can withstand, you know what I'm saying, a powerful punch. Danny Garcia, you know what I'm saying, really hit Earl Smith Jr. with some really good shit. And he said that Danny Garcia said that he can absorb punches like a middleweight. You know what I'm saying? He think he's too big for the division. And he said that Earl Spence Jr. work rate while wow. he's um, coming forward, that power jab, and and you know what I'm saying, he's he said that Earl Spence Jr. was the strongest out of uh, Keith Thurman and um, Sean Porter. He said Earl Spence Jr. was the strongest of them all, right? So I tend to believe Danny Garcia, and I, from what I've seen, you know what I'm saying, Earl Spence Jr. is too rugged for Bud Crawford. You know what I'm saying, he's not used to to uh, somebody coming in as strong as he is or even stronger and we all know that a big a, a, a great big man will beat a great smaller man that's just how it has been historically in boxing now you know saying so there's always exceptions to the rule but typically that's what happens in boxing plus you know a lot of people say that uh, like Antonio Tava he thinks that Crawford will have to get Earl Spence Jr. respect early, you know what I'm saying, or he won't be able to win the fight, you know what I'm saying, because if he can't keep Earl from making it a war, then it's going to be, you know what I'm saying, all Earl Spence Jr., you know what I'm saying, he's got to make Earl Spence Jr. cautious by hitting him with power early in the fight, and I thought that was interesting, he said he's got to make it a boxing match, you know what I'm saying, and keep Earl Spence Jr. from coming on the inside. And well, Robert Garcia, you know what I'm saying? He thought that, you know what I'm saying, Earl Spence Jr. has the boxing ability, you know what I'm saying, to to equal maybe a Bud Crawford. He said he can do it all. And he's tricky also. It's just that Earl Spence Jr. liked to fight. And uh, they tried to use Mikey Garcia as an example 
of how Earl Spence Jr. got hit with a right hand, right? And he boxed for the rest of the fight. But we saw in that fight, Earl Spence Jr. walking down Mikey Garcia, getting hit with rights, and Earl Spence Jr. just looking at him, you know what I'm saying? Letting him know that he can't hurt him, right? And he won every round, damn near, in that fight. So, you know what I'm saying? If, if Robert Garcia, who was the brother of Mikey Garcia, tell you that Earl Spence Jr. got it all, he's a complete fighter. He can box on the outside, box on the inside. You know what I'm saying? The dude is just rugged, bro. He's a Terminator at 147. And we know that um, Bud Crawford haven't fought the same kind of opposition. You know what I'm saying? He just, he just don't beat down his opponents. He just catches them in between punches and knocks them and, and TKO him, you know, he don't knock him out like Earl Spence Jr. did Bundu. You know what I'm saying? He's not knocking out opponents. He's just buzzing them and they're stopping the fight like they did with Sean Porter. It's the winner town. You see what I'm saying? So I think overall, you know what I'm saying? Earl Spence Jr. size, you know what I'm saying? His punch resistance, his uh, knowledge in boxing IQ, his punch rate, you know what I'm saying? He's just too rugged, man. The dude is like Wolverine or some shit from the X-Men, you know what I'm saying? His recuperative powers are amazing. When when Ugas, you know what I'm saying, um, hit him, you know what I'm saying, he bounced off them ropes and got in Ugas' ass, you know what I'm saying? So the dude is real with it, you know what I'm saying? His physicality is going to come into play into this fight, you know what I'm saying? And you saw Ugas' face, it was like a plate of mashed potatoes, and he broke Ugas' ribs, so he's breaking bones on top of um, good will uh, spacing and boxing ability. So a lot of people like to give Crawford the edge when it comes to boxing, but Crawford don't throw that many punches. He just tries to catch you, you know what I'm saying? And he's facing somebody with with uh, great punch resistance and can outwork you. So I do believe that Earl Spence Jr. is too rugged for Terrence Crawford, you know what I'm saying? I think. Terrence Crawford is going to be surprised on July 29th when he see um, Earl Smith Jr. just smiling at him and just coming in and, and trying to destroy him, you know what I'm saying, all over that ring. But that's, that's just what I think. This has been Pool Kind of Boxing. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And remember what I say, y'all. Law don't go around here, law dog. You're savvy. Peace out.